guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Hallie and I'm so happy that you're here. If you can't already tell by the title, I'm going to be annotating a book for the very first time today and I'm so excited. I've honestly wanted to try out annotating a book for the longest time and I was just like kind of intimidated by it, but I don't know. I feel like I'm ready to try it out and honestly, I'm really excited about it because one, I feel like it might help me not like pay more attention to the book, but just be more mentally not invested. I don't know. I just feel like it might help me remember things better. And two, I've already had multiple times where I've wanted to like go back to a book that I've read to like remember a certain scene or remember something happening with a character. And I literally just have no idea where to start. And so I'm really excited because if it's a book that I think I'm really going to love, I feel like I will really like being able to like go back to specific points easily, especially because my memory is non-existent. So I feel like as soon as I finish a book, even if it's like five stars, the next day I'll have like trouble remembering exact moments it's like so bad but anyway I am so excited to try out annotating a book for the first time and I thought it'd be so fun to bring you guys along with me so the book that I have chosen to annotate in this video is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I'm so excited to read this book. You have no idea. So many people have been telling me that they think that I will love it because I love Hunger Games. And I also really liked Fourth Wing. And people are saying like, if you really like both of those, you will love this. And it's a romantic -y. It's like enemies to lovers. And everyone says that the romance in this is so good. So I have a feeling I'm just going to absolutely eat this up. And I feel like it'll be the perfect book for me to try annotating for the first time. So before we get into actually reading and annotating the book, I wanted to really quickly go through a few of the things I'm going to be using to annotate. This is just like my starting out stuff. I might end up getting different things or whatever in the future because like I said, this is my first time annotating. So I don't know if like some of these things won't work for what I want them for or if I end up finding better things, you know, whatever. But this is what I'm going to be starting out with. The first thing that I have are all of these little tabs. I actually got all of these in one pack on Amazon which I feel like is such a good deal. I believe it was actually, no, I'm not going to say that because I haven't, I don't remember how much they were, but I feel like I remember thinking that it was a really good price for all of these. Like there's so many color palettes in here. So I got a pack of these and I really like these specifically because they all come on these little like plastic sheets, I guess you would call them. But like that way, whenever you choose a color palette for the book that you're reading, instead of having to carry around all of these little individual tabs, you just carry around the one sheet and they're all already on here so nicely. So I love that so much. That pack also came with these sticky notes, which are really cool because at first they look like they're just white, but when you take them off, they are transparent. So if you are not ready to commit to writing on the actual page of your book, you can use this over top the paper and you literally like cannot see the sticky note on the paper. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, so you just put this on top and then it looks like you're writing on the book. But if you make a mistake or you want to take back what you wrote, you literally just take the sticky note off. So I think that is so cool. Love that. And that comes in that pack. So honestly, yeah, this was a good deal because you get all of this in the one pack. The other things that I have are some highlighters, which honestly, I'm not sure if these highlighters will work if I'm using the sticky notes because the sticky notes kind of have like a like they are a matte texture, but I feel like they're not the right texture to soak up highlighter, if that makes sense. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But I do have these highlighters. They're just like little aesthetic. Marky got these for me for my birthday last year and I love them on paper, but I just don't know if they will one, bleed through if I put them on the actual paper and I don't know if they'll work on the sticky notes. So I might not end up being able to highlight with these or I might have to commit to doing it on the actual paper, which I don't know how I feel about yet. By the end of this video, I might be like highlighting and writing all over paper like a crazy person but right now I feel like I'm still kind of nervous to do that I don't know why I feel like it's because I've never like written in one of my books before even though it's mine like I, you know, I, it's mine I can do what I want but <laughs> nevertheless I am scared to do it so we'll see how that goes. And then the last thing that I have are some pens. Again, these are just like little aesthetic ones that Marky got me for my birthday last year. These ones are actually really cool because they're refillable and they're matte. They come in a bunch of different colors, but I don't know if these will work on the sticky notes either because the ballpoint, can you see that? Is so thin that I feel like I might need more of like a jelly gel type pen, which I think I might have one in my room. So if these don't work, I'll have to check that. And if not, then I'm just going to go ahead and write all over the paper and you know, no looking back. 
So, and that's it. That's literally all I have to start. But now for the fun part, I am going to pick a color palette. So let me move you guys in a little bit closer so you can like see. Sorry that it's so like dark in here also. I usually, if you've never watched any of my videos, you don't know this, but I have two kids. So I do a lot of my filming at night when they are asleep. So that is why a lot of times when you click on my videos, it is dark in my house and I have my mood lighting on. This is just when I have the most time. If I were to try and film this video while they were awake, it would not happen. It would literally not happen. They would be so excited to see the camera. So they're sleeping. That's why it's dark. But anyway, this is the edition of the book that I have. I got the Barnes and Noble edition because I really liked the pink flowers. I just, if you know me, you know I'm a pink girly, which is so funny because if you knew past Hallie, I like only wore black and gray. It's just so funny how the tables have turned. So this is the book. I definitely want to use one of the palettes that has like pink in it. And then there's like forest green on the leaves in the background. So maybe one of these palettes that have a pink and a green. So I feel like that is a lot of blues. Hmm, maybe. I feel like that's too dark, too purpley. This one has a bright pink, but no green. Ooh, this one also has pink and green. Okay, we have three contenders. This is like so not this serious. We have this one, which kind of now seeing it next to it, I feel like maybe is too, I mean, I don't know. We have this one. And then we have this one. Ooh, this is a hard choice. Do you know me, Pip? Yeah, let's see. So this one I feel like I like because the pink is bright. There's like that dark color kind of to go with black and then there's like, that green. green yeah, this one I like the pinks better, but it doesn't have as dark of a color, but I could still use this purple and this green. So I feel like that could still be cutie patootie. And then this one is like... Do the second one. This one? Yeah, the original color is purple. Oh, oh. We have decided to go with this color palette because it incorporates the purple from the original cover, which I really like that. And I like the pink on this one better. Literally, it did not matter that much. This is what I'm going to use. <laughs> okay, so to start off, I have been watching people annotating books so I can kind of see because it's kind of like intimidating because you feel like you're gonna do it wrong whenever you've never annotated before, but also it's a very personal thing because it's almost like writing notes to yourself. Well, it is writing notes to yourself so that you can go back later and see what you were thinking or what, you know whatever. I've just tried to see kind of what other people do so I can see what I might want to do. And again, I'm sure this will change as I annotate more books. But one thing that I like that a lot of people do is on the cover page, they will put basically like a key or they call it like annotating guide or an annotation guide. I feel like it's just a key you know, on each of the colors or next to them, if you want to write on the book, you just put what each tab is for so that you don't forget what each color means. That way, when you go to look back through your annotations, everything has the meaning right here and it's like super easy to find what you are looking for. That's definitely the first thing I want to do. This might be kind of hard because I go into books blind, so I'll probably end up having to add tabs as I go, which is fine. So I think at first I'm just going to add generic tabs, like the two main characters, because literally on the back right here it says, Payden, Kai. Enemies to lovers. I'm assuming Payden and Kai are gonna fall in love. I will definitely have a tab for Payden, a tab for Kai. I believe there's spice in this book. Let me just see. Is there spice in Powerless by Lauren Roberts? Oh, huh. yes. Love that. So I'm going to probably have a tab for each of the main characters, major plot developments, spice scenes, quotes. And then like I said, I'll probably end up adding as I go to, like maybe as I meet more side characters or, you know, okay. This is like so hard to decide what color I'm gonna use for what. I know for sure I want pink to be quotes because people say that the romance in this book is so good. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot of cutesy little quotes that I want to say and pink just screams love, you know? Hmm, this pen might not work. It's kind of just like not sticking. Fun fact, my pinky is curved. It like doesn't go straight. Anyway, I'm gonna go try and grab a different pen and see if that works better. If it doesn't, then I'm literally just going to be writing in the book, so. Okay, I got a new pen. Let's see if this works. It's kind of sad though, because I love my little cutesy pens. I feel like I haven't written anything on like actual paper in so long so my handwriting is so gross. Oh my god, I just smudged the whole thing. This is why I'm glad I'm not writing on the paper right now. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it onto the book first this time. I am going to do Hayden as this super, super light green color. For Kai, I'm going to do the dark purple color. Put that right under plot twists. Maybe I'll do that as like orange because it's like bam, plot twist, you know? That makes sense in my brain. 
I wanted to do one for spice. I kind of want to do light pink, but I don't know if that's going to end up being too similar to the quotes one. I'll just do it for now. And then if it ends up like as I'm tabbing, if it looks too similar, maybe I'll switch it out to a different color. This is good for now. I have five different categories. And then if I need to add more as we go for like side characters or whatever, we shall do that. I am going to start the book and then I will check in with you guys maybe at the end of chapter one or chapter two. And before I start reading, I also did want to say I'm going to try and make this non-spoiler. As far as like things that I'm underlining and like quotes and stuff, I will only share things that I know won't impact your experience with the book. Because like I said, I like to go into books blind and so I don't want to be the one to ruin it for anybody. I would not do that to you. So I will only share things that will not spoil things for you. No need to worry about that. At the end of this video, I will do a full spoiler review after my non-spoiler review. I tried to do that so that if you have read the book and you'd rather have my full opinions with spoilers, that will be at the very end of the video. But throughout the reading vlog portion, I will not spoil anything for you. Okay, let's read. hate this lighting. I feel like it makes me look like a uh, uncanny valley vibes, you know? Anyway, it's been a few days. No, it's been a day. It's Hold on. I started this on Tuesday. It's Thursday. So it's been a whole day and then like a half a day. It's like a day and a half. Literally, it doesn't matter. Hi. Last time I saw you guys, I was out on the couch reading and I absolutely passed out. I was too cozy and I, you know, I just couldn't resist. That night, I got pretty far. I feel like I read, I don't know, maybe like 50 or 75 pages in or something. I was gonna update you guys when I got to like chapter two or three originally, but I feel like because this book is a little bit thicker, I just didn't have much to say by chapter two or three like nothing had really happened and I don't know this is the first fantasy book I'm reading that is like this thick because even fourth wing like that was pretty long for me and I think that was only like 400 and something pages and this is closer to like six I'm pretty sure I'm a little afraid to look exactly because I don't want to see anything right here I tabbed out each 100 pages because someone had commented they have ADHD and it helps to motivate them to reach milestones throughout the book so I'm trying that out we'll see how that works anyway what was I saying Oh, I was going to update you guys originally around, I feel like I'm yelling also, sorry. I'm having an ADHD day, okay? I was going to update you guys, but like I said, I feel like not much had happened by then, so I decided not to say anything yet, and then I kept reading, and then I fell asleep, and then the next day, I did read some more during the day. I made it to page 128, so that's chapter 16, and I feel like things are just now starting to get kind of saucy. I just now made it to the part where she arrives at the purging trials, which everything that I say is in the blurb, so I'm not spoiling anything I promise and all of the quotes that I'm about to talk about like all of the annotations and stuff I'm only going to mention things that I don't think will spoil your experience I was so like sad that I had to pause at the part that I had to pause at because it was literally like they arrived there and it was about to start it was like the first scene in the trials and then I had to pause and I was like and I like literally have not had time since yesterday during the day to read and now it's Thursday and it's six o'clock so I feel like an update was much needed so I wanted to share with you guys Guys, a few of the things that I have annotated. Honestly, I feel like I haven't had that many annotations so far and I feel like that is because a lot of this was just like, again, the setup or the actual story, which is them like going to the trials and everything, which I'm so interested to see how this turns out because whenever I think of trials, I think of like Hunger Games, you know? This one, like I, I'm pretty sure you either just win or lose and even if you lose, you can still live and like go home. It's just very deadly, like what you have to go through. So I think that that's really interesting and I like that 
that factor and I'm really interested to see what happens. But I wanted to share some of the things that I have annotated. I remember vividly the first thing that I tabbed quote wise, like the first quote that I wanted to say because I thought it was so funny. Men would likely go extinct without women to coddle them. I read that and I literally just like giggled and I was like, <laughs> true. I tabbed that. I also tabbed, oh my god, this was, this like gave me butterflies, okay. Her eyes are the color of the shallow sea's deepest corner, a clear sky as it begins to drift into night, the subtle shade of a forget-me-not, and like the hottest flame, her eyes are blue and full of fire. I'm sorry, he could have just said she has beautiful blue eyes, but like that's so cutie patootie. I feel like he knows every hint of the color of the blue in her eyeballs. I just, that like gave me butterflies. I want to share this quote so bad, but I can't because I feel like that will give something away. And then let's see if the last one that I tabbed. No, I don't want to share that either because I don't, even if it's like the chance of spoiling anything, I'm not gonna. So anyway, I found a couple of cutie quotes to tab. One, two, three, four, five. So only five quotes that I've tabbed so far and I am, like I said, 100 20 something pages through the book so not too much but I feel like once we start getting into it farther in the book I'm going to be tabbing a lot more things for sure and because it's my first time tabbing I feel like going through the first part of the book I was kind of being more lenient with what I tabbed because I was afraid that I would end up tabbing something every page and then get to the end and be annoyed at myself for doing too much but now I'm like okay I feel like I have a better idea of what I want to tab which makes sense you know like the more you do something the better you get at it but yeah as far as our main male character Kai. I have tabbed two scenes of his and then our female main character. I've actually only tabbed one thing for her and I don't even remember what it was. Oh, I feel like I'm really going to like things, especially for longer books like this, because like I said, my memory is like non-existent. So even whenever I'm doing like recaps of books, I feel like it's going to be so helpful to be able to kind of like quickly glance through all of the things that I noted for myself that I wanted to remember. So, so far I'm really enjoying this. The only thing that I will say kind of I don't like is I feel like being a stay-at-home mom, I have really been starting to like listening to audiobooks throughout the day and then reading physical books or on my Kindle at night or in the mornings, but that way I can still kind of get that outlet during the day while also doing like mom things. And while tabbing this book, I kind of feel like I don't want to listen to the audiobook because if there's something that I really love or I want to tab or I want to underline or I want to remember, I feel like, like say I'm in the middle of washing the dishes and something happens, it just seems a little tedious to have to pause my phone, figure out where it is in the book, find my tabs, dry off my hands, tab it Real quick like so it's kind of making me not want to listen to the audiobook so then I'm like okay well I could listen to a different audiobook during the day but then it's like I'm going in between two books at the same time which can get very confusing for me especially because I don't have the best memory so I don't know that's like the only thing that I haven't loved is just the fact that now I feel like I can't really listen to the audiobook throughout the day because I don't want to miss anything other than that I am loving tabbing so far it's really fun and so cute watching all the colors like come together too Sometimes I turn on the camera and I feel like I just black out. Like I don't remember what I just said at all. I just lost my train of thought, so that's cool. I feel like that was a very chaotic update after such a like relaxing night, first night, tabbing and reading powerless, and it's like, bam, here's an update. My life is chaotic, my brain is chaotic, my thoughts are chaotic, I am chaotic, and so is this vlog, so I am going to read this. I really want to get through a good chunk of this book tonight, because I just don't think I'm gonna have any other consecutive amount of time to fully enjoy this besides tonight. There's some books where it's fine to like read it section by section but I feel like with this especially once you start getting into the nitty-gritty like you're just gonna want to like keep going. I have 366 pages left. I don't think I can read that much tonight but I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for it and see how far I get and then whatever I don't finish I'll finish tomorrow and hopefully we'll finish this book off by tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and get to page 247. I'm on 129. That'll be halfway through the book.
Okay, this video is slowly and slowly becoming more unhinged, but it's 11.51. That is absolutely affecting my ability to speak and think right now. This book is like crack. I can't even begin to explain the emotional depth that I feel from these characters. The amount of thought that went into these characters, it is just so deep. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, nothing will be happening. Okay, for example, maybe the past, like, six chapters, it's literally just been Kai and Peyton talking. 85% of it has literally just been conversation between Kai and Peyton, and it has been my favorite part of the book th so far. The conversations between them are so real, are so deep, are so beautifully written. Even just how I was saying earlier with the way that he explained the color of her eyes he could have simply just said blue like the most beautiful deep blue ever everything is just so beautifully written that i'm like literally crying over things that are like not because i'm sad because it's just so delicately written and so sweet and so real and deep it like hurts me to think about these people not being real people because i want them to exist i literally don't have a single complaint i am just thoroughly enjoying myself i turn the page get butterflies. I turn the page and giggling. I turn the page just smiling at absolutely nothing. Read a line. I'm tearing up. You know why? Because that's the cutest thing I've ever freaking read. Like there has been so many cutie little things said in this that I ran out of pink tabs and now I'm gonna have to use my spice tabs as quote tabs and pick a different color for spice because there are just so many beautiful sweet quotes that give me butterflies and make me want to cry. I've pretty much decided that that I want to finish this book. I need to finish this book. I will not be able to sleep without finishing this book. So I am going to have myself a little reading marathon tonight and just enjoy myself. I need to know what else is gonna happen in this. Let me just find you a quote. <gasps> I'll paraphrase this quote because I feel like there's something in this quote that could spoil something so I'm gonna say the first half skip the part that I think could spoil something and then continue on because you need to hear this so I said her name again and again I finally let myself do it and now I forever want her name on my lips and rolling off my tongue until I'm drunk on the taste and the sound of it what the hell is wrong with me I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> Are you kidding me? Not until I looked into a pair of ocean blue eyes and realized that perhaps drowning was a beautiful thing. Not until I looked into a pair of fiery blue eyes and realized that perhaps burning was a painless thing. Not until I looked into a pair of sky blue eyes and realized that perhaps falling was a peaceful thing. How am I supposed to read another book after this? So anyway, I'm gonna finish this book. Will I be okay at the end of this? I don't know, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Let's finish this book. the book. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> I'm gonna try and do a non-spoiler review and then a full spoiler review. It is literally like three in the morning so it'll be quick <laughs> because I feel like I can't even process what I just read. I, I, 
let me start off with something easier, okay? Annotating. <laughs> I really enjoyed annotating. As you can see, towards the end, I feel like the main things that I was tabbing were quotes. And then I did tab a couple of plot points towards the end, but in the beginning, especially the plot point tabs were like the main thing that I was doing or like when characters were introduced because I have a hard time remembering characters. So it was nice to be able to go back and kind of reference like, okay, this is how they introduce themselves. So you can kind of remind yourself of their connection and like, you know, whatever, how they're related to the plot and all that stuff. I'm so happy that I tabbed this though for the quotes because there are so many things in here that I will want, or so many quotes in here that I will want to go back and reference because this, and I don't know if it's because I'm like a new reader. I feel like this was so like, beautifully written which first of all let me say there's no spice in this i don't trust google <laughs> but even so the romance in this was like so good the way that i'm in love with kai like if it's not kai i don't want it <sighs> and the ending i'm sick <laughs> i don't know what else to say this was an amazing book i give this book five stars perfection beautifully written the plot great the romance great the banter and conversations between characters amazing i'm literally like how am i supposed to what am i supposed to read after this nothing is going to compare it was just so good the plot i was captivated from from the first chapter just the way that the characters were written not only were they believable but they were so not romanticized but just the descriptions of everything were so detailed and just beautifully written like I don't know how else to explain it like I had butterflies like 80% of this book and when I didn't have butterflies I was either crying or gasping for air I'll try and pick one of my favorite quotes that I took away from the book because like I keep saying that was one of the most beautiful parts of this book to me is just the way that things were written and the way that the romance was so or not encapsulating but it was so captivating like the romance was so captivating without there being like anything physical happening like it was purely just an emotional romance and it was so good okay this is a good quote to end on she is a vision she's a nightmare a dream a grim reaper clad in black come to steal my soul and my heart i've never seen something so beautiful so bold so blatantly wrong for me she is a devil she is a deity she is a man's downfall in human form she is my downfall i won't say the rest of the quote but just i'm just like left speechless if you have not read this yet i would a hundred percent recommend you read this i like this i think dare i say better than fourth wing i don't know it's so good. I loved this. I'm so happy that I tabbed it. I feel like for anticipated reads in the future, I will definitely be tabbing. Even if I don't do it to this extent where I do like plot and character and whatever, I'm at least like minimum going to have tabs out to do quotes so that I can go back and reference things. Even if there's literally just one quote that I tab in the book, I feel like now that I have done this and seen how nice it is to just be able to go back and like find things so easily, I will not be able to not stick a tab in whenever there's something that like calls out to me and this time i didn't end up writing anything in the book and the sticky notes that i have i don't know if i need to like write on them with pencil or a sharpie or something but the gel pen that i was writing with it just like didn't dry right on the clear sticky notes so i was kind of disappointed because i didn't get to use those but maybe in the future you know i'll end up writing in the books and that'll be fine but honestly i'm already just so happy having these little moments tabbed and i feel like it makes my book feel more personal like i've said this before too like this is why i like getting secondhand books too because i feel like the book has more of a history it has more of a meaning than just being the story like someone else has already gone through this and felt all the emotions that i'm about to feel going through this journey you know and so like now that i have this tabbed it's like it feels red and it feels like more mine kind of sounds so stupid but it does and i love that okay if you don't want spoilers this will be the end of the video for you so thank you so much for watching and if you made it this far i love you so so much don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already so that you don't miss any upcoming videos i have a couple more really exciting uploads coming for december so make sure that you look out for that that's it so you should click off now i'm going to talk a couple spoiler things right now okay hi all my full spoiler people honestly i feel like i don't even know what to say 
Now I know that there was no spice in this, but the way that I don't even care, I should know never to trust Google, first of all. But I don't even care that there was no spice in this because it was just like written so perfectly. The romance was written so perfectly to where I didn't even need that physical connection. Like they were so emotionally, I feel like connected and the way that everything was described was just worded so beautifully. I shared this in my non-spoiler review, but one of my favorite quotes was whenever Kai said, I will her to meet my eyes and when they do sparks electricity. Everything is beautiful, everything bold, everything breathtaking. That is what I feel in her gaze. That and terrified, terrified of what she's doing to me. She is a vision, a nightmare, a dream, a grim reaper clad in black come to steal my soul and my heart. I've never seen something so beautiful, so bold, so blatantly wrong for me. She is a devil, she is a deity, she is a man's downfall in human form. She's my downfall. So first of all, I'm like absolutely swooning over man and it's just words. It's just words, it's just conversation. And I felt like it was like in the beginning plot, but still slow, like nothing too crazy had happened. And then in the middle, it was a lot of that, like, again, just beautiful, emotional conversations. That was like the middle. And then all of a sudden at the end, it's like, this is actually crazy. Then Adina died and I literally sobbed. <laughs> And of course, Kai is the one that killed her dad. And of course, she betrayed Kit and he's the king now. And now I feel like it's, it's the second one is like true enemies to lovers. I mean, I don't even know if it'll be to lovers because I'm truly torn up about this. I gave this five stars. It's perfection. I'm broken. I don't know what to do with myself. I mean, I should just go to sleep. <sighs> but when I wake up, I'm just gonna be like, was last night real? <laughs> I feel like I said this in the non-spoiler portion too. Honestly, you can go watch that. I kind of said more because I'm just trying to process. This was such a ride. So I'm just trying to process, but I feel like this is a higher five star than fourth wing. Like they're both there and this is just, this is fourth wing. This is this book. They're both so good. I just don't know how I'm supposed to read anything after this. Cause I don't care what a boy says now, it's not gonna be as good as what Kai says. My man's is a poet. Like, <laughs> but anyway, I'm very glad that I got into tabbing. I've already gone back and like looked at these quotes like 10 times. So I feel like now that I have done this and seen already how convenient it is, I won't be able to read a book, especially if it's like a highly anticipated book without tabbing. Like even if I just end up putting one tab in for like one specific quote, I feel like if I see something that I think I'm gonna remember, I'm not gonna be able to pass it by without adding a tab. So I don't know, this was amazing. I like don't know what else to say because I have no complaints. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> That's it for today's video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos. I have a couple more really fun and exciting uploads coming for the month of December. So keep an eye out for those, but that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.